How's everybody doing? This is Philip Lyde. This is Melissa Lyde. Live your dreams every day. Um, we just want to talk over our new topic, which is the 10 secrets you should never tell your spouse. Um, starting off with that is the reason why is that communication is important, but we also know that it is also important that we keep things to ourselves at times. Yes, some things are not meant to be told to your spouse because of feelings being involved. So we have to be very cautious of the things that we think we should tell them, but at the same time knowing that if you keep your mouth closed, it will spare feelings. Okay. I mean, so 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 let me ask you this. What what is what is something that you should not tell your partner? Okay. One thing I think you shouldn't tell your partner, especially if you're in an argument out of anger, is you are someone I should have never married. Okay. That's remember, like, yeah. remember, remember that's been said. Yeah, that's yeah. Been said. And and the sad thing about that is I think we're still married. No. We're, yeah, we're still married. <laughs> but I think we um, take into account at the time the emotional attachment that we had was rooted in ego. Yeah. You know. Um, What's another thing that I you think, should never tell your spouse? I don't think so much is never tell, but I think you need to come to grips with it is is comparing that person to someone else. Okay. Um, whenever you... You know, I've said it before, whenever you try to measure somebody up to an ideal, they'll never measure up to that standard. You know, they'll yes. continuously fall short. Um, they'll always be considered a failure in your eyes. And I don't think that's fair to them. And that's true because I personally used to always compare my spouse, and you know we said it before, to my father. And that's because I am a daddy's girl, but at the same time, I am married. I am one with my husband now. And daddy, the cord had to be cut. Yeah. I mean, and and me and, me and um, my father-in-law, we have a very good relationship. Very I can good. honestly say that I'm fortunate to be one of the few guys that does. However, um, I do know some of the distinctions between us also are not that bad, you know. Um it comes to, it, and it comes down to you being comfort, comfortable mm -hmm. or confident in yourself enough to where it doesn't matter what a person where a person puts you at. You have to know that you got to be the best person that you can possibly be. Rolling into um, comparing, so I used my father. We used his father-in-law as an example. Um, comparing to other people, let's talk about things at the job. Yeah, I mean things that happen at work. You, when, I think, I think. Should you tell your spouse if there is someone that you have been flirting with at work? Personally, I mean, I'll say from experience, no. Because at the time, I, I guess I didn't look at it as, as anything serious. You know, um, I know now that it's serious. I know it was immature on my, on my part. Mm. Not that anything was going to come out of it, but... It was it was arrogant in, in the respect of of lacking, I guess, affection or attention at home. You know, and what we also we often do is the path of least resistance is is at work because That's we're right. there most of the time. And and if there's something missing in the home front, the quickest place to go may be church or to that support group. Well, it could be where you, spend, where, where you spend most of your time. At. Right. And for me, mine was with my coworkers at one point in my life. Um, hanging out with my coworkers almost every weekend. Not a bad thing when you space it or, but every weekend I was going out seeking that attention and that I wasn't getting at home at the time. So at yeah. the same time, while I was going out, my spouse was receiving lovey-dovey comments from um, this young lady that we are aware of at your previous job and do I blame her no I don't blame her either because it had to be reciprocated just like on my part it had to have been reciprocated and that's something that he did not tell me I did find out about unfortunately but I knew that I wasn't 100% great either so 
I guess I didn't. Yeah, it, it, it get comes upset. back to it comes back to self reflection. Even even when you were going out and things like that, I mean, I should not have. Looking back on it in hindsight, I should not have been so stuck in my own paradigm in terms of saying, well, because I don't go out, because I'm not a dancer, all these things that <laughs> you should not be allowed to express yeah. yourself the best That's way. Right. You know, everybody has a vice of some sort. There was a time when I would drink and smoke and I don't do that anymore. But do I knock people who do it? No. That's right. And that should be the same here. I mean, if you would have caught me, you know... Years ago, I might have I might have did some splits or some New Jack City crap for you, but I don't do that. You know, <laughs> you I'm, did. I'm well, content you did, now, but you know? did it one time, right? You did, but, and that was a beautiful thing. But moving on, you should never tell your spouse or significant other how hot their best friend, friend, brother, coworker. Father. Father, Mama, Philip Wesley. I never said how hot Philip Wesley was, but unfortunately, that's something that I think you need to keep to yourself. Why, Philip? Why? Or the same for me. You should never tell me how sexy my girlfriends are, because you know that wouldn't bother me, because I know we got it going on anyways. So, but yeah. it would bother me. <laughs> it's, it's okay if, if that if, that, if that's how you feel. But yeah. what I, it would bother me like, yeah, because my girls do look good. But at the same point, you know what I mean when I say, I mean going on and on about. Because well, I've the, seen we've seen couples where they have ex, been explicit about how good the significant other's friend looks. Well, it, com it, it, it comes not, down to, it, from from my standpoint, what it comes down to is that, um, again, if, if there's something missing in your relationship with me and, and you're going off comparing me to one of my friends based off of an ideal perspective, mm -hmm. then what you're going to find out is that he ain't no different than me, obviously. You know, just differences is those small little nuances that we think is is going to make the relationship better oftentimes mm -hmm. or not. And that's the truth because with me and saying his friends are hot, sexy, I, I've never done, I mean, we want to stay, but nah. you never heard that come out my mouth. No, I mean, it, I, I think. And well, you've the never only done issue, that. And you've but, never done that. No, but, but, but what we was talking about was in, in relationships, like even in comparison, you know, and we've discussed this before, and I think it's a good thing that some of the things came out that we we were we had friendships or what we thought were friendships, where if if I'm sitting here and and, and we're going through whatever issues we're going through, right? And mm -hmm. and you start you start saying, let, let let's well, so say, let's and say, so don't do that, right? Well, so, so and, so, and so, so would do this. Well, so and, and so, so and is so. is at the. You know, so and so does this out in the yard. Have you noticed so and so? -and -so? Yeah, give a damn about that. Yeah, you know? that's right. So, I've done that. You know, I mean that that would be along the same lines. Yeah, that of, is in comparison. Know, if if you're sitting there and your conversation is is weighted Oops, on comparing me to any other man, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to you comparing me to the person that I was. Okay, so it looked like it's always going to be an issue. Yeah, so you're, you're, you, the whole point is the things you shouldn't do or say around that you shouldn't tell your significant other spouse is definitely not saying anything to compare them with a, an ex, a best friend, someone. Is that what you're saying? That hurts your feelings? No, that ain't got nothing to do with feelings. I mean, mm. it, it, <laughs> it, it makes a distinction as to where our relationship is. That's true. You know? So, so if I didn't care, then it that's just what it be, you know. But if I care enough, you know, my thing is, if I care enough about you, then I need to be mindful of my actions and my behaviors. Okay. I know I've made mistakes in the past mm -hmm. where I haven't done that. So in recognizing that, we gotta we gotta acknowledge it and just move on. That's true. Okay, and moving on, what about good memories of your ex? We've done that. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, it says here, secrets you should never tell your spouse. You should never share the good secrets, good memories of your ex, really? 
I mean, I don't agree with that only because exactly. If again, you got to be in a place spiritually to where it's just a non-issue. You know, um, I know you've had good memories with your with your exes, and they were in your life for a reason. That's right. And like I told you before, I'm actually grateful that they were in your life because you're with me now. That's right. You know, those little things that they brought to the table made you who you are when you came into my life. That's and right. so it's from this point on that I have you. That's now, right. now, if I lose you, it's, it's, it's my fault. No, so, it's not your I fault because if you lose that. me, it may it depends on the situation. Because what if I walked out the front door? <laughs> <laughs> not joking. Hey, 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 hey. But if you walked out the front well, look at it. If, if, if you walked out of the front door based off of something material, <laughs> then I love you enough to let you go. Yeah. Okay. So, no again, that's right. That's true. So, the things you should never tell your spouse, some things we agree, some things we don't agree. But, um, again, communication is the key. And I definitely think that you need to be mindful of their feelings. Yeah. Whether it's health-wise, right? I think Because health-wise, you know, I'm going to tell you. I mean, before I probably wouldn't tell you because I didn't know how you would receive it. But now that I know you, I know that you don't. Um, you're not going to take it as um, I'm hurting your feelings intentionally. You know that there's really some um, meaning behind what I say to you. And the same for me. Like when I was smoking, when I used to smoke, woo, two years, smoke free. But, oh yeah, time. But um, he would get on me <laughs> about that. And some people feel that, you know, they are afraid to tell their spouse or significant other Due to it might hurt their feelings, but you got to take health into consideration. So again, go ahead, Paul. Well, it, and I'm we're just gonna wrap it up with yeah. this point: is that in essence, whatever relationship that you're in, whether it's a casual relationship or a more committed relationship, that communication, communication, communication. You know, you also have to be in a place to where you have to love that person or care enough about that person where they're at. That's right. And if that person never changes in the course of your relationship, then you have to be comfortable with that. You can't be in a relationship willing to change that person based off of whatever you think is 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 better That's because true. it's not. It's not. Um, take it from us. We'll be married 13, 13 years. years. You know, um, the ups and the downs, I would not have in any other way. So with that being said... Um, this is Philip Lyde. This is Melissa Lyde. Live your dreams every, every day. day. And we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Bye.